morning everyone uh, i'm talking quiet because it's really early in the morning here um and welcome to episode two of paraglide school you can probably see my breath it's really quite chilly i should have a jacket on really anyway thanks so much for all the great comments on episode one uh, i wasn't sure it would go down that well i didn't i didn't know that it would bore people just watching me and sean teach people to fly but everyone seems to have loved it so I'm starting episode two today. So we've got one student that we've never met. It's going to be her first day. So we'll film that. We'll film the insurance and the talk so you get an idea of what you have to do. We've got one student that we haven't seen for quite a while. So we've got to um, bring him back up to sort of confidence and standard. Um, and he hasn't even passed his EP yet. So we, almost we've took a, we'll take a couple of day, a, a, a days step back to, to get his skill levels back up. Um, and then we've got Adam that you saw in episode one on day one. So he's uh, halfway through his CP course, but again, he's had a few gaps. So again, today we'll be doing lots of ground handling, um, and just techniques in the landing field. Um, I don't think we'll be on the hill flying today because I think it's going to get quite gusty and windy and thermic uh, once this, this mist burns off. So yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a good day for ground handling only. So thanks again. Thanks for all the subscribers. Thanks for all the messages. Thanks for the messages abroad saying they wish we could come and teach them. Well, we might be able to start doing that. Myself and Sean have been talking and we wonder whether, I don't know that it can financially work, but we are wondering whether, because we, we like traveling. We travel to France and Spain and sometimes Bulgaria each year doing teaching. So we are wondering whether to start offering to come out to you guys and teach you wherever you are. But as I say, we'll have to work out finances and how much it's going to cost you and us to make sure it's worth it. But that's something on the cards, so watch this space. All right, guys, cheers. I've got to load up, put all the books in, put the insurance in, put the gliders in, and I'll see you at the field in a bit. Cheers. All right. So we've got radios. We always bring a wind sock for obvious reasons, so people know where the wind is blowing while they're doing their launches. Obviously, a huge first aid in case anyone twists an ankle or something not that we've ever read that thank god uh log books student training record books and our insurance and then we have to log our days so we bring a student day uh, sorry not a stu yeah students it's a leaves the aviation daily log and we just put in here the weather of the day how many students we've got the uh instructors which only ever me and sean time of arrival etc so we always log what we're doing ourselves as well so we can look back on it and then we've got things like this for safety on the hills grid references uh emergency phone numbers instructors names etc so we've got all the bases covered you know and then maybe later on in the day we can talk about wind speeds etc and how it works why we take off and land into wind and why we don't do it downwind so got a couple of gliders in let's grab some more Are you ready to teach today, Sean Leavesley? Yes, I wish the sun was shining. Well, this isn't looking good. It's just gone really, really foggy.
Nice crispy new wing, John. Nice colour as well. Day three for Dan. Is it day three for you, Dan? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Day three for Carl. After a long layoff, this is going to be rubbish. Day four, day four. Oh, four, okay. <laughs> and then Mika, day one. So this is just, um, I don't know who used this last, so you're just checking that there's no rips and tears. Yeah. And everything's okay. But if you can see these zips here, what happens is... Go on, try it. Loads of power. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Turn and run, turn and run, turn and run. Oh, well done, Dan. Yes! First go today that was. Okay, stop. Well done. Full brakes on now. Just walk forward. Well, that was great for your first one. Upright run. Release, run. Bit of pressure, John. Well done. Into there. And then you've got this one across here, which just stops the shoulders from falling yeah. off. I won't put that on today because of that. And that's it. So these are your carabiners. So to open them, they're lock lock, they're automatic lock. Yeah. So to open them, you push it up, roll it in, and then push it in. Okay. So when you let it go, they automatically lock yeah. for safety. So the greys pull it on. The tr what a lot of students do, they'll pull the yellow ones on a long way to make the, the, the shoulders feel nice and yeah. comfortable. Uh, because as a student you think, oh it's a bit loose, I'm nervous. The trouble then is, what happens is the, this part of the harness, yeah. as you pull them on, it raises up your back. Yeah. So when you start flying, you can't get in the seat. Okay. You're sort of waggling to get in the seat and it's really uncomfortable. Yeah. So it's important not to pull the shoulders on. Look now, it's, it's fallen back yeah. down. So don't have the shoulders too tight. You know, when you're in your car and you may be laid back, you think, oh, this is too far back yeah. and you adjust your seat forwards. That's what these do. Okay. So the more we pull, the more upright I'll be in flight. Yeah. And then the more we release, like this, the more reclined. Okay. So a rule of thumb on most harnesses is to have the, the tab, the front of the tab, just in front of the carabiner okay. there. So I'll show you the connection. So you check the risers, yep. pick them up to make sure the pulleys are at the front yeah. and the A's are on top. The brakes sort of slide downwards on the magnets, like yeah. that. Take the brake in your hand and back on your arm. Again, break back on your arm. Okay. And now if I just run, the wing will probably just drag along the ground. Okay. So I need to pull the wing up into the sky. So the green exactly. Yeah. So just hold them just at the bottom. You can use okay. just your thumbs, you haven't got to grip them super hard. Yeah. Keep your arms relaxed W, like this shape, bit of your shoulder. Yeah. And it's an upright run. So don't sort of lean forward, try and run upright. So wing looks good. So upright run, 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 run. Up it comes, release, and then just keep running. Wow. <laughs> and if you run fast enough, you might be able to do a circle. <laughs> well done. Good launch. Here comes the sun. So you've got to have faith. I told you it gets sunny. <laughs> the same tension. That's it. And then a nice upright run with your arms back by your ears. Plenty of power. Boom. Release and run. Perfect launch. Yeah. Taking the control. Yeah. Uh, I ended up with my hands kind of on the inside of the brakes then.
Yeah, so you've got to, before you take the controls, the risers are hanging down, always arms behind and just lift your arms so they're sitting on your forearm. Okay. Then take the brake yeah. and then the A. Get okay. prepared and then let me check. So, is it always the same colours? Yes, so on all our gliders it is the same Hang on. Go on then. So I'm picking it up like this. Yep. Grabbing that. No. Uh, no. Yep. You've got a twist already though. Let's just oh, have a gosh. look. Just put that back on. Yep. Yep. Just drop them down. You've got to make sure that, that there isn't a twist. Now there isn't, look. Okay. So now take the brake off. Okay. Yeah. And they're on your arm. Yeah. And then hold them low on the black. Hold them low on the black. The wing always launches nice if you hold it a little bit lower. So, so what you want is brake off. Take the brake off. Yeah. All on your arm. And low on the on the black bit. That's perfect. And then when you run, rigid arms, got arms back here, yeah. and an upright run. Go on, power, 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 release and run. Very good. That was a great launch. Well done. Well, hey, and he's flying. And you'll release your aid. So you've just got your brake line. Okay, yeah? So I just let go of Yeah, so I'll just I'll just show you actually. Yeah, so when I say release, you're gonna release those. Yeah. That's release. Okay, so you're just using the okay. steer. Okay. Can you feel wind on your face? Yeah. Okay. Run, 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 release. Run. Yes, left arm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there's some wind. So just the A's you're pulling, not the brakes. And then when it looks almost like a wing, then hit the brakes. And do I let them go? Or? No, keep hold of them. Just maybe hold them a bit closer down. Okay. Yeah, that's good. There's not much wind. I don't expect this to work for you because there's not much wind. Okay. But try it. Loads of uh, pull, pull on the A's and just run backward. Go on, load. Pull, 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 pull. Brakes. No way. <laughs> I'm glad I videoed that. <laughs> Go on, John, while there's wind. Very good. Really nice launch, John. Such a good day so far. So we've been here a couple of hours and Mika, it's her first day. She's doing a day taster, although I think she's probably doing the course now. She hasn't failed a launch yet. Unbelievable. She's just doing forward launches because there's very, very little wind. Um, the fog has lifted good enough. The pilots that have come to fly can't fly because they're sitting in, in fog, in cloud. But for day one training, it's good enough. And we've got some blue sky coming. So, so far it's been a really great day. It's so rewarding for instructor. Well, it is, maybe I'm weird. Maybe me and Sean are weird, but it's so rewarding seeing them doing so well and, and, and loving it and the excitement and the enthusiasm. It's brilliant. It, it rubs off on us. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six students. I think we've got a couple more on their way and everyone's having a blast. So we're going to do some more. We're just going to have a bit of a lunch break and then we'll do some more. So normally at about one o'clock, 1 p.m., 1 1.30, we have lunch break. So uh, these are a bit eager, they want to do a bit more. Okay. It's going to stay reversed. Yeah. Step under it, there you go. Quick step under it. The way you step is the way you pull. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah that's great, well done. Gosh, Joe. Backwards, there you go. Well done. Perfect, Stu. It's good. 
Remember, you can steer it as you're doing it as well. As you're pulling, you can steer it with your brakes and the A's, like four wheel steering. Yeah, exactly like that. Exactly like that. That's it. Punch the brakes. There you go. Spot on. There you go. So all you want to do is you want to pop the wing open from a mess. So they're the tiny, aren't they? Then. Yeah. They are. So what you want is yeah. Just all the A's. Yeah. In your right hand. Yeah. And you want just the brake lines low down, right down here, right? Yeah. And all you're going to do is you're going to jolt backwards fast yeah. and pull the A's. Pull, 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 pull. When it almost looks like a wing. Yeah. Then hit the brakes. So A's and then as yeah. it looks like a wing, then pull the brake. As soon as you think that's starting to open and look like a wing. Yeah. Go. Power. Pull, 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 pull. Brakes. <laughs> yeah, there's plenty of wind. See? Oh, absolutely mega, Dan. Mega. Feel the pitch control. That's it. And then brakes, full brakes. Walk forward while you got them on. Walk forward. Well done, Dan. Keep walking. Walk backward now as you're twisted. Yeah, that's just because there's a lack of wind down in this dip. Well done, well done, go, go, go. Very good. And then get ready for full brakes. Stop. Oh. It is, yeah. You're not far off there. Go on, just go for it. Good pull. Pull, 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 pull. Yes. Oh yes, that was perfection. <laughs> Can't go for that. The wind's on there. And keep walking backwards with me, okay? Go, power. Pull, 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 pull. Release, brakes, brakes, brakes. Keep walking back. Bit of right arm. Right arm. That came up quite quick that time. <laughs> just stay on the brake. Nice. You can release and twist and run. Okay. Alright. So do I try to do Yeah, yeah, you literally just twist around there, yeah. It's sort of the rise of the light like that now. When it comes up, just sort of do that with your head. Release. Reverse the right. watch. Run, 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 run. Pop more brake on here. And now release, release. Oh. That's it. Bit of right arm. Right. And up. Okay, the wind has changed direction and, and it's dropped a lot. So we're going to take all of the students to the top of the hill. And I'm hoping two or three of them that have been coming out the last few days are going to do their first flights. So a big climb. Well, it's not really a big climb, it's five, five minutes, but we're going over the top of here. So go out. Now, if when you come in for a landing, wherever you end up landing, we want to try and land there on that nice grass. But if you overshoot, and end up coming down anywhere, take off, you'll be airborne, just relax. Hands by ears. You should be able to flick your ears with the brake. There, in that sort of direction, because that's the true wind, look. Commit to the launch. You just, just imagine you're back down in the field like you've been doing all the weekend. Alright? Go for it, bud. Excellent. Go on. Drop it. Excellent launch, buddy. Well done. Hands by ears. And go right. Gently right. That's absolutely epic. And straight, straight. that was. No pressure for you guys.
Oh yes. Oh! Woo! <laughs> that was brilliant! So look, look, you're gonna do your normal launch that you've been doing all day long, right? Yeah. Don't freak out because there's a hill. Good run, and as you're running, a little bit of brake pressure and you'll be away. Alright? That's it, turn, run, 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 run. Hands by your ears, hands by your ears. Less break, there. Less break, less break, less break, that's more. Hands up, there you go. Now just relax, let's go right. Get ready to come round, not yet. Now, gently round to the left and fly towards Dan. Okay, get, go a little bit more right, off to the right. Right, that's it, run off to the right because you're very high. Go right, right straight straight keep going more right that's it and now left lean left and come back left back to me come left 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 much more much more left straight look at Dan what we're doing is we're doing S turns to lose altitude it's looking good gently turn to Dan turn to Dan Looking good. Looking good. Just relax. A little bit of right towards Dan. That's good. A bit more right if you can. That's looking good. You can just slow it down on the top where Dan is. That's it. You can fly to that end bit there. Don't worry. There's plenty of room. Get ready for the brakes just to slow it down. Smooth on the brakes. Gentle. Gentle. Hold them on there, gentle. Very good, well done, yes. Well done, man. Yeah, all right, just get a better wall, look at your wall, that'll launch terrible, gate square. That's it, you wanna, you wanna there you go, there you go. If you pull with it one side higher, it's probably gonna go wrong. You are now. Just relax, man. Just relax. Just wait for a little lull. Just do what you've been doing all day. Well, the last two days. I wouldn't let you fly if it wasn't flyable. It's perfect conditions. Just relax. Just do what you've been doing down the field. Forget there's a hill. Yeah. Go on, go for it, man. You're fine. Turn, good run, don't jump, good run. Brake pressure, brake pressure. Couldn't have done it better myself, well done. And let's just wonder, think of your flight plan, stick to your flight plan. Now just breathe and enjoy the view for a bit, man. I know you were nervous, that was epic, man. So look down at the boys where they've landed and don't turn yet because obviously you'd be way too high. So keep looking left where they are, where you want to land and try and judge when to turn left. I would think about now, yeah, exactly about now. So when you're gonna come towards your landing zone now, on the running towards Dan, if you're a little bit high, just apply some small S turns to scrub your altitude. I think you actually nailed it, to be honest. You should just glide straight to them from there. I think you've nailed it. Lots of speed, there won't be a lot of wind down there. And remember to stand up. Run forward, run forward, run forward. Keep running, get away from the trees. Yes. Happy? Best flight 
like that, I think. Epic, well done all three of you. Really great, man. So the same thing for you, Stu. Just remember, it, you, you nail it down in the landing field. Don't freak, because you're on the hill now. Just, just go for your launch. Decent run. Very nice, very nice, man. Woo! Go left once you, now start going left. That's it, nice. Just follow the hill here. Just on this corner, you might hold your own. Yeah, you're climbing there, you're climbing. And then just drift back when you get to the end. Drift back, you haven't lost any height yet. It. come on back stay on the ridge if you can don't worry about the white wing he's gone behind you just come back to the ridge a little bit you should reclimb the wind is square on so you could perhaps drift along past me a bit further before you come back yeah you're flying real nice Stu. that's really nice and then a smooth lean and then follow with the brakes come back and if you start to feel you're a bit high as you get to them, just a small couple of S turns. Such a good day. So, Dan and Carl have done their first flights with us today. <laughs> How was that? That was epic. And uh, Dan, well done, Dan. Well done, man. You got to be happy with your judgment of that landing. I looked at that spot, and that's where I landed. It was a bang on. Yeah. No, it was really good. What an epic day. So that's the end of the day. So just uh, Sean is showing. Mika, how to pack, and we're on. they've all flown. Is everyone happy? Yeah. Tell YouTube you're happy. <laughs> I'm happy and I'm not even learning. <laughs> I was going to say, I've got, at least I've got tomorrow off, but I haven't because we're doing paramotor lessons yeah. tomorrow. Was just off to our left now, and then and we and we thought he'd like. Right. Yeah, it drops right down. It's much bigger than the hill you've been on today. We've even got the students holding the gate for us. <laughs> And that is the end of day one, two, and three for some of those students today. So we've had an epic day. And tomorrow I'm teaching three students to paramotor. So that should be fun. So see you tomorrow. <laughs>